Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about the E2 reaction. Now in my previous video in organic chemistry we looked at substitution reaction. The key points of those reactions were the substrate contains an sp3 hybridized carbon 2 the leaving group acts as an electron and number 3 the nucleophile acts as an electron pair donor and causes the substitution but in elimination reaction it's slightly different and the nucleophile acts as a proton acceptor and causes elimination now this definition of it being a proton acceptor and an electron donor is kind of tricky to work with so for the sake of understanding let's go back to the basics of acids and bases so if you need a refresher you can go check that video out i'll have it linked up in the cards in substitution reactions the nucleophile is a weak lewis base for example water ammonia chloride and hydroxide if we consider bronsted lowry bases we know nucleophiles are potential proton acceptor now that's important because nucleophilicity and basicity is not the same thing nucleophilicity here refers to how readily a nucleophile attacks a non-hydrogen atom and basicity here refers to how readily a nucleophile attacks a hydrogen atom when we say a nucleophile is acting as a base we mean it's acting as a proton acceptor but it's not dependent on being a strong base say something like terbutoxide it is not a good nucleophile but it is a strong really strong base now let's look at halide ions which are really weak bases but they are really good nucleophiles but sometimes it can be both for example water is not a strong base nor is it a good nucleophile and hydroxide is a strong base and is a pretty good nucleophile now that we've covered that refresher up now we can look at elimination reactions now this video will focus on a type of elimination reactions the e2 reaction suppose we have butane br butane bromide here methyl br butane bromide and we're uh, mixing it with a hydroxide ion now first the hydroxide attacks the hydrogen or proton and the electrons slowly go to this bond right here that food and the uh, and the carbon realizes it has too many bonds so it pushes some of the electrons in this bond makes the leaves with the bromide which is the leaving group and now we have a butene and the proton has now become water mixing with the hydroxide ion and the bromide is low now a very important thing to know alpha carbons are the carbon that is connected to the leaving group in this example that would be bro the carbon that is attached to the bromide and the beta carbon is basically any carbon that is connected to the alpha carbon now a proton from this carbon is removed because if we do this and the electrons the proton doesn't move the electron will have no place to go to 
the bromide is leaving and it will basically be a substitution now this all happens again in one singular step now this is something important because again this is a bimolecular transition state so let's look at the transition state first thing so in this example we have this transition state now this is bimolecular as the substrate is attached to both the extract the hydrogen that is being extracted and the leaving group now the carbon and hydrogen bond is getting weaker and weaker and weaker here and the hydrogen hydrogen bond is getting stronger and stronger the bromine carbon group bond is getting weaker and weaker eventually leading to the leaving of the proton and the bromide so that's all there is to it thank you for watching if you want more videos about math and science in general Please subscribe and leave a like down below and please share it to other people that might be confused with the similar first topic. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.